A and AS level maths. Lesson 12. Still working with sequences and series. So now we need to work to try and find the sigma notation when given the series. Let's just remind you what I mean by the sigma notation. The sum of a series up to n equals that's the last term and that's the first term and here we'll have the general term written in terms of whatever letter has been used there. Starting term, finishing term, general term, this is the sum of the n terms. So we now need to find this notation given the actual series. So, let's look at it as just a series of numbers and find what we call the nth term. Now hopefully you can recognize that these are the square numbers therefore the nth term is in fact n squared. So if we're now going to write this sum of this series in sigma notation we have to write down any letter we've been using r and i and n but we use r this time I think the first term, 2, 3, 4, 5, finishing with the fifth term. And therefore that is in fact the summation of this series. This means that we're going to start, because we've still got the square numbers here, but we're starting this time with... 3 squared, so the first term is going to be using n equals 3, up to using n as 10. So we've found the sigma notation for the summation, or the sum of, this series of numbers. Finding the sigma notation. So here's another series. Let's first of find the nth term of this series. We notice that this is plus 3 each time. We're adding 3 onto the previous term. Therefore the nth term is 3n plus or minus some number. Now to find that number we can actually subtract 3 from the first term and get minus 1 and then appreciate that in fact that has to be minus 1. Let's test it because you always want to check things. The first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term. This is the fifth term. Let's check it. If this is the fifth term, substituting 5 into there should give us 14 and it does. So we've worked out the nth term. Now let's look at the sum of this series. So we're going to be summing the general term where the first term is when n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to end with 5. Now the general term, because it is add on 3 each term, time, but which term is this? Well, it's actually 1, 2, 3, 4. It's with n equals 4. In other words, if you put 4 into there, 3, 4 is 12, take away 1, you do get 11. But what's the value of n for this number here? Well, we can in fact write ourselves a little equation. 3n minus 1 equals 59. Add 1 to both sides. Divide both sides by 3 to work out that in fact the last term... It's arrived at by substituting 20 into this general term. Therefore, this is the sigma notation for adding up that series of terms.